I launched this effort, this mission, this movement. I very much wanted to do something to inspire people to think differently about business and brands. I have seen what can happen to people and companies and consumers when that happens, and I wanted to be part of a movement to lift up business, lift up marketing, to reach its potential, because when that happens, I see magic happen. When we worked together, we did this benchmarking study, which was very inspirational to me. And he wanted to understand uh, what made uh, great companies and great brands. Uh, so we identified two criteria. Number one was to really understand brands that really build great relationship uh, with their consumers. So with that in mind, what we set to do was really tapping into more brands' equity database, looking at thousands of brands to screen and rank the best brands in terms of bonding and how much these brands had grown over time. The second criteria is we wanted to make sure that those great relationships were actually turning into higher financial performance and really delivering higher shareholder value. So we conducted a global benchmarking study to really understand you know, what was unique to the best brands in the world. And one of the key findings, uh, a seed of idea, was uh, uh, the concept of ideal. An ideal really is why the brand exists. The higher order benefit a brand gives to the world that inspires everyone who has anything to do with the brand. And take a brand like Discovery. They began 27 years ago with this ideal of satisfying curiosity and helping people get smarter on our planet. We could talk about Louis Vuitton. We could talk about Google, Apple, Red Bull. They all have an ideal that drives a higher level of performance, higher results, and attracts great talent. And great leaders understand that. They articulate it, they make it explicit, and they find ways to bake it into how the business is run.